deer cabin, so I'm 70 miles north of Duluth, up in Minnesota. I know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, John's country up here. Actually, it's pretty far north from John's country, but they do like purple up here. Um, I was um, spending some time in John this morning, John 16, 33, and Jesus said, I've said these things to you that in me you might have peace. In the world you'll have tribulation, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Now that word tribulation uh, means pressure and trouble. Man, can you relate to that? Um, and uh, when he said, take, over, take heart, I've overcome, it means I've conquered or I've subdued it. Um, I've taken the bite out of it. Um, you know, thank you, Jesus, for... Uh, um, coming into history at a time when life was like it is up here at the deer, deer cabin. Outside toilet, no electricity, um, no running water. You want water, you just got to go go uh, to the spring or to the well and get it and um, bump it out or pull it out in a bucket. Um, you know, and, and uh, no conveniences. Um, but Jesus lived in that kind of a setting. He knew what it was like to be a carpenter, have to sweat, um, to uh, have to uh, fight with things that resist you. Uh, you know, he knew what it was like to have slivers and calluses and, and uh, um, injuries, you know. And um, so he worked as a blue collar worker, or I guess blue robe, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but he beat Satan at his own game. He didn't fall to the lies, the deception, um, to the bait and switch that uh, the devil has won um, ever since uh, our ancestors, uh, Adam and Cain, um, believed the lie and, and fell for it. And Jesus broke it. Um, you know, and, and when he, and I don't know about you, but as I work through my day, um, you know, when things fight back, you know, when things break down or um, something I want to do doesn't happen, I'm fighting with it. You know, I'm, a, I'm an old farmer and so, you know, I cuss and then I have to, you know, ask God for forgiveness and, you know, it's just, you know, my poor wife, um, you know, she, um, she's better at it than I am, but, uh, um, you know, uh, Jesus didn't go that way. But, you know, um, for me, the way that I can break that cycle is if, you know, he said, um, uh, I have overcome. I've said these things to you that in me you might have peace. Um, the only way that I can keep his words in my thinking is if I'm, you know, I've got that verse that I've memorized and I'm meditating on and it's part of my thinking. Um, that's the only way I can break that cycle, is, is to keep his word. You know, sometimes a, a tune, uh, a hymn, I guess I remember the hymns better than I do the worship tunes, maybe because they're uh, um, uh, rhymed and they're easier to remember, but uh, uh, I, I try and memorize those verses and meditate on it. And so as I'm doing my day, um, his words on the front half of my th thinking, and uh, that does break that cycle of death and, and uh, makes for a whole lot nicer day. Well, you have a good day. I'm going to go give, uh, give my best to doing some uh, hiking in the woods. It's going to be tough, but I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, 34 degrees this morning, so it's, uh, it's going to warm up. Bye-bye.